special student for the program. Finally, statement of purpose. Now this is what Rajara when I was talking to you. Okay, statement of purpose. Statement of purpose means why you want to take admission into this program. What is your area of interest? If you are someone who is looking to make career in logistics, you need to specifically mention that in the letter of recommendations. Okay, so this letter of recommendation uh, normally you need to take from your faculties or if you are working somewhere, then you know your superior, your uh, your uh, immediate uh, reporting manager. You need to take a like, letter of recommendations from them. Okay, so these are the admission requirements. Now there is no minimum cutoff score. There is no minimum cutoff score for GRE GMAT if you want to take admission here in this institute. Okay, a decent score above 300 is supposed to be a good score. Okay, any questions, guys, so far? Can we move forward? Okay. Now. The on campus, I will explain you the entire course structure in two formats. The first is the online, uh, the first is on campus, on campus global logistics and maritime management. Okay, now this on campus program means the student actually has to go to US, stay there for one year, complete the course, take the, uh, get a degree certificate and come back. Okay, so that this is one year course. Now, now like I told you guys, the course begins somewhere around mid-August, August 15th or somewhere like that, the course starts. The students are expected to report to the institute uh, you know, by first week of May, first week of August. And all your uh, admissions related, all the formalities needs to be completed before July 1. Okay, before 1st of July, all the formalities must be completed. Okay, so that you can, because then you have to go for visa, you have to go for, uh, you know, you have to get your I-20 and all those certificates done, and then uh, air, airline booking and everything has to be done, and then, you know, uh, first week of August, you can leave for US. So, once you are admitted to the program, okay, you have two weeks of orientation. You have two weeks of orientation program, Okay, two weeks of orientation course. Now, what is this orientation course? Orientation course actually helps the students, especially those who are not from business background. It gives them an exposure to what all subjects, uh, you know, what, what are the subjects that will be taught in the course. So, when you take admission, you have two weeks orientation course. These are also called as introductory classes. Okay, it's a two weeks uh, course. You have to clear that course. If you, you know, to continue further, you need to clear the orientation course. So, in the orientation course, you are taught about research, how to do research, or you are exposed to research uh, basic fundamentals. Then you have business management functions. So, it this course actually gives you an idea about how, what is a, you know, how, what are the different functions of a business. Like I told you guys, business has a lot of functions. You have marketing. You have finance, you have HR, you have operations. Okay, so likewise, there are various functions in a business. So, the introduction to business and management function gives you gives the student an overview of what is a business. Okay, then you have statistics. How many of you are familiar with statistics? Okay, statistics. Business statistics means uh, students are prepared you know to to learn about what is you know what uh, the different methods of statistics okay so statistics is one of the important subject in business okay so like in mathematics if you remember 10th 12th we used to study about regression analysis okay um, you know we used to do all those uh, normal deviation, standard deviation kind of thing. Have you done this in 12, 12, 10, 12? So that is nothing but statistics. So basic statistics knowledge is given to the students. Okay. Once the introduction course is done, then starts your first semester. So in the first semester, then you are actually exposed to 
your subjects. So you are the first subject is accounting and finance. Okay, I'm sure this you must have heard. Accounting and finance is one uh, is one primary subject. You have economics and risk management. Then you have international organization development, which is more towards HR. Okay. Then you have fundamentals of international logistics. This particular course actually gives you an idea about what is logistics, what is the role of logistics in international economies. Okay. One more thing, guys, just take it down for your information. This entire one year course is a 36 credit hour course. It's a 36 credit hour course. Which means if you want to get your degree, 